I start this? Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Jada. I this is my first like sit down video. You know how we do? We out here sitting down, talking, chatting. This is gonna be a showing of my AP art portfolio. Top score, I got a five. Um, I don't know if there's like percentages and stuff that you can see, but I couldn't find anything. It just said a five, but I was like, solid. Let's just get into it. Okay. I'm actually sick right now, so that's great. Okay, 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 okay. I don't remember what order I put these in, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Oh, I should explain what is what. So, um, in an AP art portfolio, you send in 24 pieces all together, 12 for concentration and 12 for breadth. Concentration is like a focus. You give it a theme and some people do like materials and stuff. Um, I just made it up. And then your breadth is like to show how your like your technical skills it's like life drawings and still lifes and stuff like that so you send in <laughs> i'm so bad at this so you send in 24 pieces digitally to the college board and then you'll send in five physical pieces that are also to the college board and so i didn't send all of these um uh, let's start with this one so this is one of my concentration. Oh, so my concentration is, um, I BS the whole thing is about like, is, so it's surrealistic portraits that, and how they can, um, bring different meanings to different people. And so I didn't have to, cause I couldn't think of how all of like all of my concentrations fit together. And so I just played on the role because a lot of my art is very surrealistic and people ask me, oh, uh, what does this mean? Uh, pff, I don't know, whatever you want it to mean. So I tried to play on that. So um, this is just a sketch of Chloe from Vine. This is when she had her short, short hair. And I colored it red because her nails were red and I felt that it was very like we fit in really well with my concentration so um let's go on to a breath this piece um it's um buildings that don't have any perspective uh triadic and my yellow marker was dying um I felt like this would just be interesting to put in my breath because I do a lot of people and all I like to draw is people and like portraits and stuff. So I thought this would be a good addition. So I have a couple in my sketchbook that I didn't rip out for when we were taking pictures. So this one is just a sketch I did and I put eyes around her. And so my art teacher was like, oh my gosh, that can be part of your concentration. So I put it in there, but. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. This one is in my breadth. I don't know why this one's in there. I think is this one and this one are, I think, to show my character design abilities. Um, so this is just like a weird dude in a cloak that steals picnic baskets and wears a mask. He's cute. My friend named him something in Chinese, um, but I don't remember what it is. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Next, another concentration piece. Um, I was going to do an East Asia series and um, I was gonna do China, this is China, Korea and Japan. And I finished China and then I got tired and I 
almost finished Korea. I think I, it's in my room. Let me, I'll be right back. So this is Korea. Um, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't finish it, but I think this is a Susie from Miss A. I don't know. Don't take my word of it. I found a picture of a girl in a home book and I was like, solid. So yeah, but so this one didn't go in my piece. I thought I would check it out. But they're gonna be like, and then Japan was gonna be on this side, like looking this way, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. Here is a um, breath, which is a photo study that I did. Uh, yeah, it's just really, it's about it. And I cropped them, obviously. Uh, next is this piece um I can't remember what I called it I called it they ha this one has a name some of them have names from when they were in shows and stuff but I don't remember so uh I think it's like called something like all tied up my art teacher loves this one I hate it like this hand's like way giant compared to this hand and her face. I just, I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty basic. Um, oh, I was inspired by Kellogg's Loops. Is that how you say his name? I don't know, but he does like the little bar backgrounds and he uses like reds and blues and stuff. And I was like, yeah. So this is, this is my junior year. Um, most of the other ones were my senior year. I don't remember. I think all of the other ones were my senior. This one was my junior year though, for sure. So this is for my breath. Um, another photo study. Uh, I kept the butterfly washi tape around it cause I thought it looked cool. And a lot of people really like this one. I, I think it's cute. It's just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little guy. Next, this one. Uh, this piece is probably called like All Eyes on Me or something dumb like that. Um, this is, oh, I should say the mediums. Ah, I should say the medium. Most of them are watercolor. And then the ones that are smoother, like in my sketchbook are probably Cop Copic marker. So this is watercolor and gouache and colored pencil. Um, I really like the eyes. I did this. This one is in my junior year. Um, I really like the eyes, like this part right here, and here, and like that, and the hair. But I'm. It's not my favorite. I thought it was all right. I got an A. So another sketchbook. I think that was ripped out of my sketchbook. Um, it's a crow with lots of eyes. Just to show that I was able to draw animals, I guess. To show that I was able to draw animals, I need to look at the camera and not the viewfinder. AKA a mirror taped to a chair behind my phone. Because I don't have a camera. I don't even have a computer to edit this on. I edit this on my phone. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a crow. It says caw and crow noises. Did this in my junior year. Um, yeah. Oh. So this one um, is titled something in the dark, I believe. I don't know. It made it into the art show my junior year and I was like, oh, um, it needs a name. And so I named it something basic and it won first in color media. And I was <laughs> stunned. Um, There's this really good kid. He was a senior, my junior year. And he he was so good. And I, he was in the same category as me. And I beat him. I got first. The ribbon is on my bed. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> yeah. He's hanging above my bed because um, he's the first piece that I had that ever won anything. Uh, so this is actually of Josh from Phantasmagoria. It was supposed to be Josh. 
because he, you know, I, I was very into that webcomic. It's really good. Highly recommend. Uh, and so I drew like a little thing of him and I needed another concentration project and my art teacher was looking through my sketchbook and he's like, you should do make a bigger version of that. And so I did. And it won. <laughs> so good. I was very excited. It's still it's still so crazy to me that I won something. Another Brett. This is from my sketchbook. Um this was of my OC Mavis back when I used to draw them and stuff. And I used the Zebra Mild Liners, this bad boy, uh, and a Micron. Yeah, super, super simple, just to show my character design ability. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, next, this is um, a piece, and I used my sister and I, like, as one person to so it's it's both of us like both of our aesthetics put into one person and yeah so this is one of my bigger pieces a lot of my stuff is really small so um yeah but I really like the color on the nose and the face I think it's super cool um so this is just watercolor charcoal like a white charcoal pencil for the smaller eyes and um a white gel pen for the brighter eyes and yeah this bad boy um this is a still life that we did in class um someone poked a hole in it i don't know if you can see this my finger in the background right there while it was hanging in the hallway for uh, a thing schools do where I live called Sterling Scholar we you hold an exhibition and blah 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 I didn't win it doesn't matter uh kid who won he does pottery and I was just just a tad mad because you can't you can't judge pot you can't judge pottery and art on the same scale and so I it didn't I don't know I don't know I don't know but I didn't win and so that's uh yeah it's just a contour line still life of a skull and some flowers i actually really like it i really like doing these um <laughs> don't tell my art teacher but because a lot of us hate them but i actually really like them so <laughs> so this is a twofer so this is um a life drawing portrait that I did in class of my friend, his name is Dylan. Um, this one is in my concentration because I drew, I drew a third eye on him because while he was sitting up there, like while he was taking a break, I asked him, I was like, Dylan, do you want a third eye? And he's like, yeah, do it. And so I put, drew him with the third eye and my art teacher got so mad at me. <laughs> so my mom just called me uh, and I had to do something for her. So it was a little intermission. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. I think it was this one. My art teacher got mad. He hit me. Like, my art teacher hit me. I was like, hey, look. And he's like, don't do that. And he hit me. And I was like, who gave you the right? But also, it's fine. Because he's... He's my... We're... I don't know. I also ripped it on a door. So... <laughs> that's fun. And then this one... Um, it's just a life drawing that I did in class. Uh, my friend named Cammy. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have a third eye, so it goes in the breadth. I couldn't think of the word. I was like, so this one goes in breadth. Um, I also ripped this one, but more recently. So that's great. I'm I'm really bad at carrying this one, but I thought it'd be cool to like. It'd be cool to showcase them in this double mat thing um, for this for Sterling Scholar, and it was cool. Uh, 
Should have won. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that, that I should have won. But it's, it's over with. I'm in college already. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, I call this piece Forget Me Not. I did this my junior year. Um, it's just a watercolor. I really hate the colors. I, I kind of want to redo it just to give it, um, do like a different take on it. Cause I feel like the colors work ish, but I could do a lot better now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, this is a piece I did my junior year and it's in my breadth, not my concentration cause it's not a portrait. So it's in my breath. Otherwise it would have been in my concentration, but it's not a portrait. So it's in my breath. The pieces that I sent in physically. So there are five of these. So these are my, my best works. The ones I want them to see in person. Um, this is the first piece that I sent in. So my teacher, he hates that I draw small. Um, but I, it's just stuff I like to do but it's small and a lot of it comes from my sketchbook and so he told me I have to put big mats on them and so all of the mats are very similar sized in here so it helps create a unity and so it's just a giant mat with this tiny little picture but this is one of my f absolute favorite pieces my teacher's favorite a lot of people's favorite I think it um so it's just Copic marker a little white charcoal pencil and some color pencil and a micron pen I believe and a little fly washi tape but I just feel like this piece uh, I don't know it's just I think I did a really good job on it this is from my breath because it doesn't have anything surreal about it it's just a portrait Ooh, we're, we're good friends me and this painting um, so I painted, this is for my concentration, um, so this piece I, the start of each year we do a, like, beginning of the school year critique, and I had no, no like, finished, finished pieces from over the summer, and so I painted this, like, two days before the critique, maybe even the night of, like, the night before the critique, and wasn't that happy with it, I... <laughs> I just put it up on the wall and I was like yeah it's all right like not my best and uh, I recorded a speed paint maybe I'll upload it but it's like really bad I hung it up and we get to it and I was ready to be torn apart but apparently everyone loved it except for like ooh, I don't know if I should say this <laughs> I don't know if I'll put that in the video <laughs> oh it's a watercolor 100% watercolor even the outlining and everything. So we have two main art shows that we get, um, that you can get picked for. And this piece made it into both art shows. And it's extremely hard to get into art shows. Uh, we had so many students. I think we had like around 35 people take the test for APR and like, competition was so stiff everyone was so good in my class like <laughs> class of 2018 AP art poof woo, woo. we were so good like I don't mean to be cocky or anything but like we're like the best class I'm just, I'm just kidding but this piece made it into both art shows and I just I we, we went on a ride me and her this piece uh my art teacher lives for this piece uh, and originally this was supposed to be a hole that her head was going into because I thought that would be interesting and he's like that's dumb and I was like but I thought it was cool he said no and so I had to turn it into a hat and it's pretty average this this we do without but so it's a watercolor to mimic an ink wash because I didn't have ink um and then just colored pencil and a gel pen white gel pen for highlights but he loves this piece I it's just all right I think 
I like the face, kind of, you know. But, yeah. That was in my concentration, by the way. <laughs> uh, figure drawing. Love doing figure drawings. And she doesn't wear shoes. Fun fact. So she was actually barefoot. I'm so... Yeah, she doesn't wear shoes around school. I feel like I did pretty decent on this one. And yeah, I have yet to unshrink wrap all of them because I don't want to. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is actually 100% crayon, like Crayola crayons. Uh, and this is one of my biggest pieces too. Like I don't, I think this is biggest pieces. Oh no, it's got a hole in it. Art. Anyway. Uh, but this is kind of like symbolic of me because I dyed my hair blue that school year and so like my roots were brown and my hair was blue and I was like oh my gosh it's like me kind of and I just wanted to do like yellow orangey skin and I wanted to draw pills I, f I love how some of these pills turned out especially like the blue ones Oh my gosh. And then I did like the sun, Saturn thing in the corner. Um, yeah, but it's just a crayon piece inspired by the Jupis on YouTube. She has a space drugs kind of thing and I wanted to capture her essence, you know. I really admire her art, so. That's my portfolio. <laughs> uh, am I confused on how I got a five? A tad. Uh, but art is art and people seem to find my art interesting and I'm very grateful for that. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I'll keep making videos. I like doing it, but I'm kind of lazy, so. But I have fun. Uh, okay. Bye, guys.